I'm Neil Young, makeup artist, and I know how busy it is for women every day to change their makeup. So what I want to try and show you today is a daytime look that can be easily transformed into a dinner look. So let's start with the day look. Okay. okay, so I've done a bit of preparation. I've put a little bit of foundation concealer and I've also popped in some urine eye drops just to brighten and whiten the eye before makeup. So let's get on with some makeup, shall we? So the first thing I'm gonna use is a base. This is a very neutral shadow and it's a very matte texture as well. It's a really good trick to use a base all over the eye first before deeper colours because it's a lot easier to blend a darker colour into another shadow. Just using a really soft brush, I'm just working a very neutral shadow all over the lid. And so that's my light tone. Then I'm going to have a medium tone shadow and then a dark tone. So the light one is your base. The medium one is going to define the socket a little bit for you. Okay, just to give a little bit of definition and contour the eye. And then the deepest tone is going to frame. So I'm going to get into a slightly deeper tone. So I'm using a kind of little taupey colour. And this is for the socket? This is for the socket. So I'm going to get you to look down, okay? And what I'm going to do is start in the middle of the contour, so in the crease of the eye. And then like a window wiper, I'm just going to move the brush backwards and forwards. This is a blending brush. So this is going to apply the colour and it's going to do the blending for me at the same time. Right. And you should go all the way in. Yeah, because what you want to do is you want to enhance as much of the natural contour as possible so that the eyes appear bigger. So just do the other way, look down again for me. And the thing is, the reason why I'm getting you to look down is as if you were holding your own mirror. Okay. Okay? Yeah. So just grab that. So from that angle, if you raise your eyebrows as if you're surprised, you can see that I'm actually working yeah. it right into your socket and it's very visible from that angle. Yeah. So it's a lot easier. So if anyone hasn't got very naturally defined contours, this is how you can cheat it a little bit. And really, you know, what this technique is really is kind of a very classic way of doing eye makeup. It suits absolutely everybody, regardless of skin tone, age, it's a very flattering way. So I'm gonna use an angled brush, right. okay? And I'm actually just gonna let the brush do the work for me. So what I'm gonna do is just take a dark brown shadow. And I'll show you on my hand first. So what I'm gonna do is just press the brush directly around the lash line. Right. So the brush is measuring the line and just pressing it into that. All you need to do is place it directly in the lashes and it will right. do it for you. Okay. This is what's gonna frame the eye. Look down for me. So basically, I'm just gonna press this directly into the lash line. And I start from the outside. And the thing to remember with an angled brush is, the longest point is always to the outer corner when you start on the outside. Then when you get to the middle of the, the lash line, you turn the brush over and then the longest point is towards the inner corner. Right. And that's how it fits the brush. And should you always follow the, the uh, lash line rather than just making your own line? Yeah, well you can do, but the thing is, this is a daytime look, so you just want to kind of, what this line is doing is just going to add a little bit of extra depth at the roots right. of the lashes, just make the lashes look thicker and fuller. Okay. And then repeat on the other side. I'm going to do some mascara now. Black, of course, yes, my favourite. I know. <laughs> I don't know. Is there any other colour? <laughs> <laughs> so we'll do the bottom first, and we're just going to go sideways, backwards and forwards, okay, rather than down. So obviously, you know, not everybody wants to wear mascara on the bottom lashes, and for a lot of people, it might be too much for daytime makeup. Yeah. Okay. So let's get onto the top lashes. I'll tell you what I do as well is a really good tip. You see, you can actually just bend the mascara wand. Never seen that before. <laughs> well, it's a really clever way of doing it because it still goes back into the packaging, yeah. but it comes out obviously with a, a bend on it. So when you're actually doing bottom lashes, it's easier than doing it straight on. Right, yeah. And also when you're doing your top lashes, the angle, it's just easier to get into the face rather than being right. straight on with the wand. Okay. So there we go. So that's your on. That's your daytime look, polished and perfected. Now I'm going to get on with finishing the makeup. Okay. okay, so there you go, we've got the completed daytime look. So just to recap, we refreshed, brightened and whitened the eyes with Murin eye drops. 
Then we picked our palette of three colours, so your light, medium and deep tone and frame the eyes. And then we've just finished with a little hint of blush and some lip gloss. I think you look nice and polished, don't you? I love it. Yeah.